Mango Math presents Array Around, a third grade game. Array Around is a third grade game that follows the math strand of algebraic thinking. And it's an algebraic thinking game that has students using multiplication and division within 100 to solve problems and situations involving equal groups and arrays by using drawings and equations. Array Around has some math terms to increase understanding, and those terms are array, a set of objects or numbers arranged in order, often in rows and columns, forming a rectangular shape. Factor, a whole number that multiplies with another number to make a product. Commutative property, in addition and multiplication, numbers can be added or multiplied together in any order. And product result when two numbers are multiplied. The supplies that are provided in your pouch along with the information sheet and directions is a dry erase marker, eraser, and two array around boards. To start the game, one student will be the creator of the array and they will hide their board and draw a rectangular sh shape anywhere on that board. They will then tell the other players what the area of that shape is. The other players will then start guessing at where that shape is on the board. So they will start plotting dots on this grid wherever they would like to. If the dot happens to land on a line that forms the array, the player will just leave that dot there. If they, the player plots a dot and that dot happens to be outside the array, the player will place an X over that dot. You can also, because this is a dry erase board, that can be erased off, but it helps you leave it on to figure out where the rectangle may be. The next player can place a dot. The next player can pick a dot and, or pick a point anywhere and place a dot there. And since this dot falls within the rectangle, they will draw a square around that rectangle to show that it's inside the rectangle. So now the player knows somewhat where this rectangle is located. Now they've got to figure out the rest of it. So let's say he picks another point, another player picks another point, and another player picks another point. So now they know that one side is 2. Let's say they figured out that that side was 2. So then they know the other side would be 5 and so they place their point down at 5. And so at whatever point they can tell you what the two sides are that make up the array, in this case it's going to be 2 and 5 and this is where it's located, they can solve the problem and then that person is the winner and they get to draw the next array. If they want to, they can continue guessing until they have all four corners and they can make an accurate uh, judgment of what the array is on that board. So it's a matter of just figuring out where it's located, what are the sides, and finding your dots on those sides. Some guided questions to promote critical thinking. Describe what commutative property means. Why is it important? Does commutative property work for subtraction and division? And what areas created only one way, what areas created have only one way to make the rectangle? What areas could create three or more different types of rectangles? So that gets into all these ideas of prime numbers and products um, and factors. So it's a little bit deeper thinking, but it gets kids to thinking, okay, I can only make an array that is 7 by a 1 and a 7. So it gets them thinking about those things. Great activity. The kids love playing it. Enjoy.